Hi guys, Colsey, and today I'm going to be setting up and going through how to set up side quests for your Oculus or Meta Quest 2 headset via your phone. Previously, I have used SideQuest. I have mentioned SideQuest. I think I even made a video specifically about SideQuest for the Quest 2 headset. SideQuest for the Quest 2 headset is uh, a way of installing games that are not available on the Quest headset natively through the Quest store. You can get a lot of free games. You can get a lot of really interesting experimental titles. There's a lot of cool stuff available on SideQuest. Uh, and it is effectively sideloading into the headset. Now, previously, uh, I'm pretty sure I believe you had to use a PC, whether it be a gaming PC or a laptop or anything, uh, and connect your headset to the PC in order to use SideQuest. However, they have recently just come out with an app I'm going to be setting up the app today. I haven't used it before. I don't entirely know how to set it up, but we're going to go through it in real time uh, or, you know, pretty real time. I'm going to be learning as I go uh, and seeing how easy it is to set up and install something uh, to a Quest 2 headset if you don't have a PC or you just want to use your phone uh, instead of using a PC. So I have my Quest 2 headset here, obviously. I have my phone here ready with the app ready to go. Uh, and I guess what we're going to do is just go through the whole thing. So I'm going to start recording on my phone as well. I'm going to do some screen recording. The headset is on. I have my controllers here in case I need them. Uh, the I have connected the Wi-Fi. Now, that's the only thing I think that could be a slight problem here is the Wi-Fi out here in my office is not incredible. I have like a Wi-Fi extender in here. Uh, so hopefully that's going to be enough. But I have connected my phone and the headset to the same Wi-Fi. First things first, uh, I guess I'm going to open the SideQuest app. You can download it via the App Store. Um, I'm obviously on an Android, so uh, I don't know how it works on Apple or if it is available on Apple, but I will double check that and I will add it on the screen now. There you go. Right, first things first. Welcome to the SideQuest mobile app. Important, please read the following. We're going to read the following. The app is intended to be used over Wi-Fi. It has limited USB support and should only be... Should only really be used uh, to enable Wi-Fi and then remove the USB cable. Okay, whatever. Before you can connect over Wi-Fi, you first need to enable it on your headset. You can do this two ways, either by using this app and a USB cable or using the desktop app. On wind. Okay, right. Let's figure this out. If your phone supports USB OTG, then you may be able to use this app to enable Wi Fi connection on your headset. If not, then you need to use SideQuest desktop app to enable Wi Fi. Okie dokie. Right, so now I've, I've opened the app and I'm in Wi Fi slash USB options. Right, so it says USB OTG support detected. So I assume my phone does have that. To use USB OTG, just connect a cable now, preferably USB C to USB C. Right. In the interest of the fact that we're trying to set this up via only the phone and not using a PC, I'm going to find a USB C to USB C cable and we're going to try doing this. I don't entirely understand what it's asking me to do, but I'm sure, hopefully, maybe, possibly, it will be clear once like, we start doing it. So I just need to find a USB C cable. Do okay, this is this is a USB C to USB C cable. Um, it is the Oculus one for like doing Airlink and stuff. Not Airlink, you know, Oculus Link. So we're gonna plug one side into the headset and then the other side into the phone. I'm gonna take the case off my phone briefly. I can't actually see because the headset's fallen on my face. Right, the phone made a sound, the Oculus made a sound. If your device supports OTG mode, then we can connect your headset via USB. I don't want to use the freaking PC if I can help it. I know I can use the PC, but I don't want to if I can avoid it. I'm, I must be missing something. There's something either I'm missing or I'm stupid or something. Aha! Aha! There is actually, if I angle it, there's an OTG connection setting in my phone that was turned off. It says automatically turn off when not in use for 10 minutes. Right, so now that's on. SideQuest app open, Wi-Fi, right, I'm connecting the phone again. Oh, it's done it, SideQuest install it, yes. Okay, oh, here we go, allow, allow from, always allow from this computer, yes. Right, okay, we're definitely connected now, we're definitely connected. Now if I go enable Wi-Fi, okay, yeah, now I'm getting another accept screen, always allow from this computer. Okay, and now my phone is not saying anything, so I should be able to unplug this. Sweet, yeah, so. I'm wirelessly, this is it, it's working. That's the headset, yeah. So, I've got a little green light on my store. Uh, so let's pick a quick app to install. 
What do we fancy? Maybe Pioneer Endless Journey. Download. Oh, hang on. That says download app Oculus. All right. I don't want to do that. I want to sideload. I want something I can sideload. Okay. Cat chases. That seems funny. Okay. Here we go. This is a sideloading app. So this actually is going to be sideloaded. So if I click download app sideload, installing. Okay. Right. It's downloading. So I guess. I guess we're going to let the Wi-Fi do the downloading. I don't know what Cat Chasers is, by the way. I just picked a random thing. Oh, installing. Right. It's now installing. Cool. It's actually installing quite fast. I think I picked a good game that was actually not too big of a file for, for the office to actually install. But there we go. All right. So once this is installed, in theory, I mean, in theory, it's, it's on the headset. I mean, wh where is it installing if not on the headset? It doesn't make any sense. So if this is a success, right, I'm going to do a quick screen record. Headset's recording. It says it's installed. So if we go to, it'll probably be listed under unknown sources. Come on. Can't be asked to pick up the good. <gasps> Cat chasers. Uh, yeah, this app wants controllers. Let's just open it up to see that it actually does fully work. Okay, we ready? Device update in progress. Really? <laughs> the app requires the latest Oculus software version. Okay, so I haven't got... Oh, for God's sake. Right. Well, I mean, you can see it's here. Look, it's here. Uh, but I guess for for now, I'm going to have to just do an uh, Oculus update, I guess. Look, I'm in a different place. Can I put the menu in front of me? Because that might make it easier. Right, hello. Right, cool. Right, anyway, back to where we go. We go all, we go unknown sources. Cat chasers. What is cat chasers? I don't know. There's a weird little cat on my screen. I'm very small. Oh my god, I actually have to be a cat. Right, anyway. Um, <laughs> it works. You can see that. It's fine. It's all good. Right. I'm very low to the ground and it's freaking me out a little bit, but there we go. Right, well, there we go. All done. Um, now, I don't know whether... Let's just check if this is still connected. So it's not currently connected. I did do an update, but it's not connected now. Now that we've done that update, let's just double check. We'll plug the cable back in again. Make sure it still works after the update, because that's quite important. Otherwise, I've just shown you that it works, but not on a recent update, but I'm sure it will. Uh, allow. Enable Wi-Fi. That's done that. We can unplug and again we're connected so the headset is also still connected to the phone you can see by the little green dot that means it is connected and we're completely wireless and the headset is on and therefore connected so there you go that's uh that's how you can set it up it's not as complicated as it seemed it did actually the f like the app told me that my phone was usb otg capable because it says detected um, but I did have to go into my settings to make sure I turned that on because it's something that apparently turns itself off after 10 minutes. So uh, just bear that in mind. Make sure to double check that on your phone. Like I said, I wanted to go through this not knowing exactly what I was going to have to do to see how easy it was. And to give SideQuest all the credit that they deserve, there is actually like a how-to on the app so that you, you can watch a video that explains how to do it. So that's... Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I don't think it mentioned the whole turning your OTG on, but I didn't watch the whole video. But just in case, then this video does let you know that you might have to do that. But if you haven't got a PC, um, as long as you've got, you know, a phone that you can connect to your headset and it is OTG enabled or whatever that means, uh, then you are all good. You can side quest and side load games onto your Oculus headset, which is really, really cool. Hope you guys found this video useful. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope this has helped uh, some of you out. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, I don't know, how-to useful videos like this, then please do let me know. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.